it's wanting to buy beautiful clothes beautiful handbags beautiful shoes but what keeps my items in pristine condition is how i care for them so in this video i'm going to show you my exact process to make my items last longer this includes which washing machine do i use which cycle what's the spinning speed that i use for sweaters do i use fabric softener or not do i tumble dry do i air dry this and so much more will be covered in this video so we'll buckle up all right let's start with a washing machine i have a samsung washing machine which i've had for like over seven years now and i have no complaints i can definitely recommend i mean it would be nice to get sponsored by samsung just putting it out there but uh when it comes to detergents let's just do a quick run through so you know what i'm working with this is the ecover sensitive zero fragrance zero coloring it's a liquid detergent this is the one that I use for most of my clothes. This brand, this is neutral. This is especially for like wool and fine um, materials. And it's sensitive on the skin and also in the environment. <laughs> but I use this like for my wool sweaters, cashmere, silk, you know, just delicate underwear and things like that. I also use a, just a regular name brand powder detergent. This is mainly what I use for like towels, rugs, house clothes bedding just you know the heavy duty stuff when i'm washing my wipes i also add a little bit of this product this is the ecover and this is like a bleaching product without like the actual bleach in it so it helps to just um like a stain remover kind of thing keeps your whites like super white so i always like add just a little bit of this you can also use baking soda next up is this fabric softener this is lenore i only use this for my bedding and i use the tiniest amount purely just for the nice scent i mean this smells so beautiful makes like my bed linen smell just super nice and fresh but there are many articles explaining like why fabric softeners are not like, that good to use like they can over time damage your clothes but also your washing machine the fabrics like can uh, change in texture but also it can like clog up your washing machine which reduces the lifespan of your washing machine like nobody wants that right but quite some years ago i decided to cut down on using fabric softener I don't use it on my clothes at all, just a little bit on my bedding. Another item that's an essential in my kit is this Vanish Power Gel. This is a stain remover. I can be a little bit clumsy sometimes, so this has saved me many times. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the nitty gritty. My sorting method is as follows. Blacks, whites, neutrals delicates underwear house slash activewear i don't even wash my whites with like creams or beiges because even like the tiniest amount of color can spill just make my whites look a little bit dull now whenever i buy a new piece of clothing i always make sure to check the label to see if there are any particular washing instructions like dry clean only or hand wash only because to be honest that also influences whether i'm buying the item or not i find that if you buy something that's too fussy to take care of you won't wear it that often but when it comes to washing in the washing machine i I usually use the eco bubble cycle that Samsung has this is a cycle that uses cold water which means that it uses less energy it is safe for most fabrics it causes less shrinkage and it's like a bubble technology from Samsung that even removes the hardest like toughest stains and dirt even at cold temperatures the spin cycle I keep at 800 for regular clothes jeans like tough materials can sustain like 1200 and 400 for delicates for regular clothes i rinse just twice for delicates three times by the way for underwear and delicate fabrics i use these mesh laundry bags as an extra layer of protection this is to reduce friction to avoid pilling your clothes like won't be twisting and stretching too much in the washing machine and it 
just keeps the clothes from getting tangled. Pieces that I want to be extra careful with, I'll like turn them inside out. All right, another very important thing to take into consideration is to pay attention to the dosage of your detergent. I rather use a less than more. Using too much detergent can, just like with a fabric softener, it can reduce the lifespan of your washing machine, like things can get clogged up and clumped up and all of that, which is not good for your washing machine, which in turn is bad for the clothes that you're washing. All right, once everything is nice and clean, it's time to hang them dry. Yes, I said hang them dry. I mostly hang all of my clothes vertically, except for wool and cashmere sweaters. Those I hang horizontally just to avoid stretching. You know, gravity can really stretch your sweaters and we don't want that. The last time I used a tumble dryer was like eight years ago. So if you can avoid this, I would say do it. Of course, considering your lifestyle, the place where you live, the space where you live, you know, all of that. The process of tumble drying can definitely reduce the longevity of your clothes. If you look into the tumble dryer after every cycle, you'll see like some pieces of fabric left over. This is pretty much like micro damages to your garment. So my thing is, first of all, I try to wash my clothes only when needed. When I wash them, I do so as gentle as possible while still achieving the desired results. And and speaking about washing my clothes only when necessary, I really mean that. I mean clothes that touches my skin, like t-shirts, underwear, things like that, I wash like after every use of course. But sweaters, I can go like four to five wears without getting them dirty, you know, really depends where I went, but I don't have to wash them every single time that I wear them. And for jeans, again, depending on where I'm going, they can last me up to like eight times of wear without having to wash them. When it comes to blazers, coats, they can go a whole season without needing a wash and be perfectly fine. To refresh them, I just spray them a little bit with just water or this fabric refresher that I have, steam it and they are good as new. To keep my wool coats and blazers in pristine condition, I take them to the dry cleaners about once a year for like a good deep clean. I occasionally use a pill shaver on my coats and sweaters to remove pilling and I also use a lint roller to remove lint. Especially now that I have a dog, this is indispensable. This makes all the difference in the appearance of your clothes. I recommend everyone to invest in these tools. All right, now let's talk storage, which is another key component when it comes to taking care of your clothes. I'm fortunate enough to have a big walk-in closet and this makes getting dressed and storing my clothes just a bliss. I hang as much as possible because I'm a visual person and I love to see like everything that I have. I can just come in here, take two minutes, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. <laughs> and I have like multiple outfits in my head. However, of course, there are things that need to get folded. Sweaters is one of those. I don't hang my sweaters because again, the gravity can stretch your sweaters out, which is just not what we want. So sweaters are getting folded, but also things like t-shirts, bodysuits, you know, little tops, tank tops, things like that. Just fold them nicely, you know, use like organizers and things to keep them nice. But yeah, the rest is going on the hangers. Now, a downside to not using a tumble dryer is that most of my clothes, like especially shirts, cotton shirts, things like that, linen, those need to get ironed, especially if you want to get like that crisp, new feeling back. There is just no way around it. I simply use the iron instructions to determine what heat level I need to use for my pleated trousers to get like that pleating nicely pressed. It's just like you need to go to town with that iron and that ironing board to get that you know that crispiness which again is just a little detail that makes all the difference but for flowy dresses coats blazers i use my steamer all right moving on to shoes my sneakers i just wash them in the washing machine whenever like they need a good refresh i just put them in one of these mash laundry bags and just throw them in the washing machine at a cycle 
needle that is just a little bit more on the gentle side. And for the spinning, I use again the cold cycle, 400 for the spin and just one rinse. I let them air dry and that's it. One of my pet peeves is seeing like beautiful girls with some dirty ass sneakers. <laughs> It's a no for me. My leather shoes I clean with just a damp like old t-shirt just to get the dust off or dirt off. I don't use like a leather conditioner or anything like that. If you have like suede shoes you can use like a suede protector to make it waterproof. And when storing my shoes for the season I just put them in their dust bag. If you can put like each pair separately in its dust bag just to prevent the shoes from rubbing against each other. My handbags don't require that much maintenance and I don't store my handbags for the season. I don't have that many. So all of them are just on display in my wardrobe and I wear my handbags all the time. I rotate between my handbags so they don't even get dusty. But if they do, again, I will just go in with like an old t-shirt, damp it a little bit and just wipe the dust off. For my Chanel handbag which is a lambskin if I see like a little scratch I'll just go in with my warm fingertips and massage it just to buff it out a little bit but I just find that some wear and tear just gives my handbags some character like they're truly being loved all right that's all I had to say I really hope that you learned something in this video this video was requested by a lot of you so I tried to be as thorough as possible. Leave me some love in the comments if you appreciated this video. Share it with a friend, share it with a loved one, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Remember, we are on the road to 100k, so let's make it happen, baby. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.